Hey all, Will Healy here, and today I've got a sensor basics for you. I'm going to talk about how a diffuse photoelectric sensor works. And there are other names for this, like reflex mode, or sometimes you hear convergent, or fixed focused, or divergent and wide angle, but, but a diffuse photoelectric sensor, there's a lot of different types and functions, but uh, we're going to talk about basics of a, of a diffuse. And what does that mean? Um, how it works is the emitter and the receiver are in the same housing. And so the emitter sends out the light and it relies on the object to actually detect the reflectivity of the object uh, to bring light back to the receiver. And that, that, this is the sensor that operates with light on. We've talked about light on, dark on in other videos. Typical ranges for a diffuse sensor can be anywhere from like 30 millimeters, you know, one inch to like a, a meter or more. So it really depends on the technology and there's a wide variety of housings and special functions and all kinds of things from many vendors. But um, one of the benefits of a diffuse photoelectric sensor like this is with the emitter and receiver in one housing, you only have to mount one device and, and wiring this is much faster and easier than other technologies. Um, in places where space is a factor and you don't have access to the other side or you're trying to do top down sensing on like a conveyor or something, um, diffuse is typically best because you can't access both sides on a conveyor. And then typically it's the best price to performance because you only have one part number. You don't have to have a sensor and a reflector or an emitter and a receiver. The limitations are, um, you know, sensing range on, on a sensor like this is based on a flat white test card with high reflectivity. And so um, then the material and the shape of the object and the target really matters. So a shiny round object deflects all the light everywhere. A dark matte object like my shirt, like if you watch, my hand here, I can get about three, four uh, inches out of it. But if you actually watch here, because my shirts, I've only got about an inch there, inch and a half uh, uh, off my shirt. So the material and the shape matters. Um, and then the background matters. On a diffuse, it's just a sensing range. And so if someone with like a, a light colored shirt walks by your, your sensing area and the sensor is in range, the sensor is going to trip it, it, on anything. So what I'm telling you is you got to make sure you test it just like with everything. But overall, diffuse mode sensors are very popular. They're used in a wide range of industrial automation industries, providing dependable switching over decades of operations. So diffuse is, is a really great uh, sensor technology for a lot of applications. I hope you have a really great day.